Hello, my name is Jens. I've been working with the Form 1 Plus very extensively for the last six, seven months. And while there's a lot to say about the machine, I'm just uh, trying to keep this short here and uh, show you how I clean the mirrors. There's a, it's very important to keep your optical system clean and the easiest thing to keep clean are the mirrors. Uh, we can't do much about the laser, you know, always the back, you know, always take this out, but most of us, or most of you guys, probably use the compressed air cans, which essentially, on the surface, seem to work well, but as we all know, you know, first of all, they lose pressure real quickly, they get cold and lose pressure quickly, and also what they do, they just kick in a burst of air, kicking up the dust, and the front of the top cover, right here, this aluminum top cover, as we all know, has just a cutout in here. So we have these, all these, these areas that, that are moving into the uh, cavity, if you will, as well as the tilting tray for the tank. Also creates some kind of a ceiling, if you will. So if you put a, a, a squirt of, of compressed air in there, the dust kicks up and goes underneath and some of it will collect, well this is closer, but some of it will collect underneath all these ledges and lips that we have sticking over into our cavity. Well this is not the worst, I mean meaning that the dust eventually can settle back down onto your mirrors. So you're not really, you haven't really cleaned out the cavity properly. But the worst thing is that dust can be kicked and pushed into the open cavity uh, of the second mirror and where the galvos are sitting right there in the back. And you can control that. Every time you squirt this, this uh, compressed air in there, it will create vortexes all in, in the compartment and eventually something will be kicked into that open uh, area into the goggles. So while you look at the main mirror here, thinking everything's clean, some of the dust might settle up there into the goggles. So the compressed air, while at first sight seem good, seems good, essentially it can even cause the exact opposite and uh, slowly collecting dust there, up there in that cavity where your goggles are, which you really don't want. Now let me show you what, what I do uh, for cleaning this properly. And you'll always be in control. All you need is a vacuum cleaner. Most of us, I assume, have a vacuum cleaner. And then something like this. This is a brush called a Kalinsky brush. A Kalinsky is a weasel type animal. It's really the softest brush you can, you can find these are not that cheap, I don't know, uh, this was about $20, something like that, but it'll last you a lifetime. Don't get any resin on it, you know, just keep it clean, keep it in a safe place, and it's only, only use it for cleaning your mirrors. It's so soft, it's not going to scratch anything, it's the perfect tool. If you need a flashlight, as most of us have, and you can see there's a little bit of dust on there, and uh, I'll show you now how to do that, very simple. Use, take a vacuum cleaner, take the end of it, That's it. That's a very efficient, safe, and absolutely cleanest way of cleaning your mirrors. Of course, you can also carefully go to the cavity, into the cavity, and uh, clean the small, the second mirror in the back. Same way. Very simple. Very easy. The only thing you got to be aware of is the the metal area right here, not to get that on the mirror and scratch the mirror. But you know, I assume. Most people who own a machine like that do have a little bit of a 
uh, a fine touch for things, I assume. So this shouldn't be a problem at all. And you won't ever have to buy any compressed air cans. And uh, as I said, Kolinsky brush. This is a number, I'm using a number. Okay, it's 25 millimeters, so 2.5 centimeters width. Uh, I don't know, I forgot, $18 or something like that. So it'll last your lifetime, keep it in a safe place, just for cleaning your machine, and you won't ever have a problem with your with dust on your mirrors.